All right, ZJ guys, today this one is for you. We are gonna be swapping around some steering wheels on the General Grievous ZJ. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today we're gonna be swapping around some steering wheels on this General Grievous ZJ over here. And I know it looks like I pulled off the steering wheel to every Jeep I own, but no, that's not the case. I actually have uh, my WJ Overland steering wheel right there intact. I still got my WJ Overland steering wheel on my Black Beauty XJ. These are just ones I had laying around the house. I know, I got way too many parts. Gonna have to uh, thin the parts pile soon. But there's some steering wheels. And this is the one we want to replace today. This is a pretty decent a ZJ steering wheel. And uh, you can see it's got a couple little cracks and little rips and peels in here and i'm not crazy about it so in an effort to perfect my jeep we are going to do a zj steering wheel swap all right guys let's check out the steering wheels we have to play with today this is a 2002 laredo steering wheel it's got cruise control buttons but it does not have steering wheel controls for the radio no 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 not this one uh we got an old xj steering wheel here ripped and tattered we got another one over there missing an airbag we got this XJ steering wheel, it's a 99. It has no cruise control buttons. Here is the ZJ steering wheel we're gonna be using today. We got cruise control buttons, and this also has radio control buttons, jackpot. Uh, here we got a, an Overland steering wheel. This is an 03. It has cruise control buttons. It also has radio steering wheel controls. That's awesome. Um, that's gonna be implemented in Beach Jeep, eventually. My wife doesn't want the Overland steering wheel though. We're probably gonna use this one with those radio control buttons. And here we go, this is an XJ steering wheel with cruise control buttons. Um, XJs did not have radio controls behind the steering wheel like this, but um, actually you could do this to any Jeep. If you want, you can add steering wheel control buttons to your Jeep, you just need a steering wheel with buttons for the radio, you'll need a clock spring with the wires, and you'll need to use a SWIRC uh, adapter. So we'll get into that later. Let's just check out what we're gonna be working with right now. This bad boy. And we'll go ahead and uh, mate this up into here. There, installed. Haha, -ha, just kidding, I know. All right, first thing you're gonna do, this is the real step one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pop the hood why? Because every time you work on an airbag, you're going to want to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. This way you don't uh, mess around and pop your airbag off in your face. So it is very important to disconnect this negative battery terminal. Safety first. All right, here we go. Taking off the battery terminal. Pop off this negative side. I am serious, guys. You want to do this. It even says so in the FSM. Isolate the negative battery terminal. Otherwise, your airbag could pop you in the face. You don't want that. I know it's a pain. You're going to have to redo your radio presets, but that's better than ruining your airbag. So once that is off, you got to wait two minutes. How many minutes for the burrito again? Two minutes. One minute. One and a half Ooh, minutes. I'm ah, ready. make up your melons. Uh. All right, while we're waiting for the capacitors and the battery to dissipate that energy, we're going to look at all the stuff we need for our swap. First thing is, of course, uh, steering wheel. This was an eBay score. I got this online, paid for it. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but it's actually pretty perfect. It's got steering wheel controls just like mine. Um, I mean, I could swap it if I found one that didn't have one locally, but there was none in the yard, none on Facebook Marketplace. So I went to eBay and I got this bad boy. Uh, so the next thing you're gonna need to do the swap, you are going to need eight millimeter socket. These are for the airbag screws. Take these off and that will pop off that airbag. Next thing you're gonna need is a 21 millimeter. I put this on a socket with an extension when the airbag is out, you're gonna have to get in there around the rim of the steering wheel. And this is a 21 millimeter. They're all pretty standard. The steering column nuts, yep, that's about it. So you need that. And then what you're gonna need is a puller and a tool to operate the puller. This one is a 14 millimeter. And the screws I use to pull, I think are also a 14 millimeter. Let's check this out. Yep, so. 
14 millimeter all around for me. That's it guys, simple stuff. Now this is a snap-on puller, but you can use any puller. Um, I've gotten a good one on Amazon. I could leave a link in the description below. This is actually Andy's, thanks buddy. But yeah, I think the uh, battery should be all dissipated now. Let's go ahead and we'll take that bad boy apart. Yeah. Figures hot on the outside, icicle in the middle. Two minutes. All right, so like I said before, we're gonna be looking for these eight millimeter screws right in here. Um, hard to see under here this way. That's why I have a demo steering wheel <laughs> for you. And there we go. Just about every airbag, um, at least I know from uh, 9701 XJs, the ZJs, NWJs, they all have eight millimeter airbag bolts. All the same, so XJs, and WJs have two side to side. This General Grievous has that third one on the bottom, but <laughs> that's why I call it the General Grievous. This weird thing looks like that character from Star Wars. You know what? Star Wars. Right, continuing on. There we go, one, two, three. All right, gonna do my best to do this one-handed. First thing you gotta do is get the airbag clip off. Come on, there. One, now this one you gotta slide this cover off. And right in here you got a little tab, All right there, you're gonna wanna push this in and pull. Whoop, <laughs> just slid right out. Cool, General Grievous looking airbag is out. All right, here's a good look at your wiring. It's coming through the clock spring. We got the airbag wire. Now we got one single airbag. This means that this steering wheel contraption could be compatible with a WJ steering wheel, so long as it's from 99, 2000, and 2001. And 2002, they switched to a dual prong setup. The other wire we disconnected was the horn button. And now we're gonna disconnect the steering wheel control harness. Should be easy. Slide that out. There we go, now we can pull the steering wheel. All right, now we got the steering column nut. This is the 21 millimeter. Now these are usually on pretty tight. So you can hold the steering wheel in one hand and crank on this bad boy with the other. There we go. Take this thing all the way off. Easy peasy. All right, now time for the puller. You're gonna wanna put your washers on your bolts. Drop them in here. Go ahead and thread these on by hand. Now you get them started by hand to make sure you don't cross thread them. You do not want to strip a steering wheel bolt. That would be extremely bad. Um, I've had to pull a steering wheel without a puller and it was pretty much one of the toughest things I've ever done. Uh, I think this is in Doug's video. I'll, I'll pop it in right now. What's going on, Dano? Uh, it's fighting you. Isn't oh yeah. Like I thought it would be. WJ steering wheels, bud. It's a tragedy. You know what they tell you to do, right? Ooh. Drill and tap. Drill and tap. Which is crazy. You're supposed to drill and tap your steering wheel to remove it. The thing of it is, I don't even need the steering wheel. I need all the tasty treats behind it. It's right. Like what? What do you need? I want the clock spring and all the uh, steering wheel controls, uh, the gadgets and gizmos yeah. for some upgrades. But Project Dan H has officially done the unthinkable. <laughs> he pulled a WJ steering wheel. Now, I'm not suggesting that nobody else has ever done that before, but... Limited options. It's not easy to do, and it's certainly not easy to do in a junkyard with limited options when they took your grinder. <laughs> they confiscated it. I'm so far from home, Doug. <laughs> so very far from home, Dan. Yes, that's right. I remember now. It was a WJ steering wheel, and they don't have holes threaded from the factory, so I had to go and pull it the hard way. But yes, once you hand tighten it, you can go ahead and get these in. You want full thread engagement. However, you do not want to puncture the clock spring that's right behind the wheel. There we go. These are on nice and even. Now we're going to put in our threaded rod. Got to pop on this little puller cone. I use a small one because I could fit it right through here. <laughs> That's pretty much the reason why I use the little one. I'm just going to go ahead and thread this all the way down until it hits the steering wheel column. All right, we firm this up. We're making sure we have the steering wheel puller point engaging right in the center of this indent on the steering column. Now we're just going to lightly give this a couple turns. 
and easy as pie. It should just pull this baby right out. I said easy as pie. <laughs> Let me put my knee in here, keep it from turning. These both knees. I'm doing this one handed. There we go. Felt it give. That's it. That's all there is to it. Pull this out a little more. Boof. Done. All right, guys, once the steering wheel is out, if you wanted, you could pop off the shroud, just a couple screws underneath. You could get to this clock spring. This clock spring allows the connections to be maintained in your steering wheel while it's spinning around and turning. So if you want to get one with steering wheel controls, you got to find one. And you could put the new clock spring in, put your steering wheel in. Then you could use these buttons with one of the SWI RC. Check out the video I have on that. It's a pretty good video. Not to toot my own horn, but beep beep baby. So I went in and I double checked which wire I need to splice into. Uh, you need to splice into the harness that comes out of your clock spring. And that's this thing right up here. Um, you're gonna follow that and you're gonna look for the second wire in and it's gonna be a black wire with an orange tracer. This is the one you want to splice into for your steering wheel controls. Really important thing, guys, if you do a clock spring swap or if you pull a steering column, it's very important not to turn this around too much because uh, there is a ribbon in here and it has a finite number of spins. Now, if you pull a steering column like this, and contrary to what you saw me do in the beginning of the video, I gave this good spin, you do not want to spin this freely too much because if it gets... Uh, cocked one side more than the other and you put this in the vehicle and you steer with it when it's spinning around it could actually tear that clock spring if it hasn't been kept in the center so be mindful you're not swinging around this clock spring uh, very important and again um, if you get into an accident and your airbag deploys you're probably going to want to change this clock spring too because they do get damage in an airbag deployment so if you want to see an xj clock spring swap they're pretty much all the same you could check out the video i did when i uh, helped andy recover his jeep from an airbag deployment one more thing i was talking with a buddy and we figured out how to get a wj clock spring on an xj it'll allow you to put steering wheel controls on a jeep xj so that'll come later on beach jeep so yes that's about it on the clock springs all right now we got our steering wheel out the only other tool you will need to dismantle your wheel further is a little phillips head whoopsie um the phillips head will allow you to take out the buttons and this backing plate this simple two little Phillips right here. Come on, this whole one-handed thing's getting old. <laughs> That's how I do it. That's how I do it on YouTube. There we go. One button right there. Let's get this other button here. There we go. There we go. Old wheel out. And we got good buttons. Sweet. All right, before we get our new ZJ wheel on, let's have a little fun. Check this out. We got a WJ steering wheel on a ZJ. Here is an XJ steering wheel on a ZJ. And here is a WJ Overland wood grain steering wheel on a ZJ. Pretty cool. Now, don't worry, guys. I'm not messing anything up. The steering wheels are all compatible and they have a spline, um, specific spline pattern where you cannot mix up these wheels. They only go in one direction. You can see here, these little splines have a gap right at the 12 o'clock and six o'clock position. So that these wheels right here, see that gap? They could only go on one way. So when you put the new wheel on, it'll be boom, right where it's supposed to go. All right, let's get our ZJ steering wheel on the ZJ. Got all our buttons nice and working. Boost control is good. Radio control buttons are good. Gonna slide this bad boy on. Just push these wires through the top. And this, uh, what was this horn button? It was right through the middle, I believe. Now all we gotta do is line up our splines. There we go, it is on. All right, with the splines oriented in the correct direction, we'll go ahead and hand thread our steering column nut back on. Go ahead and tighten it back down with the good old 21 millimeter. 
to make this baby hand tight you will feel the steering wheel press right on there there no need to crush this bad boy on good now we got to select an airbag i'm going with eeny meeny miny mo yep this is the one reconnect our horn wire and we'll reconnect our airbag just clips right on airbag in place now we got our three eight millimeter airbag screws let's start it by hand all right just gonna make sure that all three are firm don't have to crank them down again don't want to strip them and that's it guys steering wheel is on let's hook up the battery and if we did it right the airbags won't explode all right hood light came on that's a good sign let's go see if this baby starts up I don't see why it shouldn't. There we go. <laughs> that works. Let's check out the cruise control button. There we go. Cruise off, on, nice. I guess the other ones work too. Uh, we won't know until we drive over 30 miles an hour. Let's check the radio controls. All right, we got some Beastie Boys. I hope this doesn't give me a copyright infringement. We'll make it louder and lower. That works. Um, I got my mute button set up for this one. So everything's working. This is awesome. All right, that's it, guys. We are done. All right, guys, when you're done with your installation, you can go ahead and dress this baby up with some armor all like I did right here. This is looking really good. There's no dents, no dings, no chips, no pickings. This thing is just about perfect, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's gonna do it, guys. If you like this video, make sure you give this a thumbs up. If you learned something today, feel free to subscribe. Shoot me a comment down below if you wanna talk about steering wheel swaps. I love to chat with you guys, and that's gonna do it. Here is your famous Dan H outro. Remember Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project. Peace. All right, just gonna make sure this cruise control works. On, set it, All right? Set it and forget it. That's how cruise control works. There we go. We'll accelerate. <laughs> it works. We are cruising. Right, Fiona? Fiona, Fiona, we're cruising, right? Yeah.